Hello everybody, my name is Bogmir and today I have a short special video for you because I started to disassemble my Octava 319 Russian mic and it's slightly modded and I would like to show you how to mod this without buying any parts. You can do this at home and you don't need anything, just a couple of instruments and Let's see it. The good thing about this mic is that the capsule is really high quality. It's really good, it's really nice, sounds great. The problem starts here, under it. Uh, Russian electronics, yeah, you know that. It's, it's pretty crappy and uh, it's not good. It destroys the sound. Then also this panel that uh, it's just a switch panel, you can switch uh, decibels and uh, high pass. Uh, this panel has two long wires and it's useless for today because we don't use analog anymore, we use digital, so you can do everything in the computer, so you don't need this panel. So I will show you later what to do with that. Then another problem. The casing of the mic is from solid metal and it rings like a hell, so we will fix it. And also uh, the head of the cap uh, the head around the capsule, uh, it's two layers mesh and it's too much, it destroys the sound. So I will show you what to do with this mic without any parts. So, I have done some work already, so you won't see how to do that. I will just show you what I have done. First of all, the ringing capsule, I put some silicone inside. So, it actually stopped ringing. So, just buy some silicone, put it around or some soft tape, put it inside and I'm sure it will be alright. The second thing, the mesh inside the cap. I just took away one layer of the, of the mesh because I don't think so, we need two layers of mesh. And the sound is already much better, more open and I like this mod. It's really easy to do, you just unscrew four screws around, take this, take out the mesh and it's ready. I also put some mesh around the capsule or under the capsule to cancel and take away all of the reverberations and uh, noise around the capsule. Oh, sorry guys, I just forgot to mention one thing because I was doing this mod quite some time ago and I completely forgot what to do and there is quite a lot of things what to do. So I actually forgot that from the factory there is a resonator on the capsule and you can take it out. The resonator is there to capture the high frequencies and to make the sound a little bit more crispier. But uh, I think it's much better and much more open without the resonator. And it's quite delicate work how to take out the resonator. So I will show you on the picture. So what you need to do, you need to cut plastic very very carefully around the wire that goes from the capsule through the resonator to the body and then you should unscrew all of the screws around the resonator and very carefully take down the resonator. And now the most difficult stuff, uh, I'm sure you can do it because I certainly can do it even if I am not electrotechnician. I will cut this panel out and I will connect this wire to here and this wire to here. That's all what I will do. Let's do that.
and now let's assemble the mic. So guys, we are ready now. It's not big difference in appearance, of course, but uh, I think it's quite big difference in the sound, because the sound should be much clearer, uh, much more open and a little bit more direct. I actually hear still some ringing noise when I knock on the casing, but it's much better than it was before. So I hope this mic will be now much better than it was and I just wish you good luck with modding your Octava 319. I hope this video helped you, uh, you can comment, you can like, dislike, you can subscribe of course if you liked this video and I see you in my next video, bye.